Okay, so for this move, you wanna make sure you're standing a little further than hip width distance apart. And your knees are going to turn in and out. The movement, the booty jiggle actually comes from the knees, not the ankles. You will feel your ankles moving a little bit, but the actual momentum of the booty jiggling is going to come from the knees. Okay, now it's your turn to give it a try. Okay, so if that first technique was a little bit too challenging, here's another way to get into it. Starting with bent knees, again, the knees are going to move in and out to the side. Then begin to straighten the knees coming into a full stand. As you straighten the legs, the jiggle will automatically go into your glutes and thighs. Here it is again so you can see what I mean. Let's look at it from the side view. Bend the knees, move them side to side, straighten the legs, and feel that booty turn up. Okay, so now it's your turn to give it a try. The main key here is just making sure that you're not clenching your thighs and your glutes. You wanna make sure that everything is loose. So make sure that you're wearing a material that's really loose. You don't wanna wear like super tight yoga leggings for this move, for any of these moves really. Okay, so let's get into this shimmy. So again, starting with your feet a little more than hip width distance apart, you want to bring both fists right in front of your hip bones and then rock the hips side to side, making your hip bones touch your fist. You do not want to move your fist like this. You want to make sure you're keeping your fist still and bring your hips to your fist. Again, make sure you are not clenching your booty and your thighs. You want everything nice and relaxed. Okay, so now it's your turn to give it a try. And just make sure you're having fun with it. Throw your own sauce on it. Throw your own swag on it. Now using that same technique, bend over, but make sure that you're keeping your back nice and flat. Okay, let's get into these glue isolations, okay? Y'all go crazy over these. Let's get into it. So I'm gonna try to explain this the best that I can. You're basically just squeezing one glute at a time. So squeeze the right glute and hold it for a second and then release it. Squeeze the left glute, holding it for one or two seconds and then release. And then just repeat these steps. This move is a brain game, and the more you practice it, the stronger your muscle memory will become. So this move takes practice, practice, practice. I also feel like the more flexible you are, the easier it is to get your booty muscles to jump and flex. So make sure you're stretching out your straddles. Okay, now it's your turn to give it a try.
come onto your hands and knees. Open the knees up super wide apart from each other. This is really important. And then begin to tuck and tilt your pelvis. You want to imagine having a salt shaker in between your butt cheeks and you're throwing the booty down towards the floor like you're throwing the salt down onto the floor. And I wanna credit that tip to Fire Starter of Vertical Joe's. I learned this tip from her when I took her twerk technician certification workshop. So thank you Fire Starter for that. Okay, now it's your turn to give it a try. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If it offered you any value, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe.